everyone. Welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug and today we're going to be going over how to connect your desktop QuickBooks with your online banking. So it will download the transactions directly into QuickBooks uh, ready for you to post. Or I have done videos on connecting this with your QuickBooks online. So if you prefer, or if you're using QuickBooks online, you can go search for that video instead. They're very similar processes, but not exactly the same. So uh, I did create separate videos. All right, so we're on our home screen. Um, if we want to connect to our bank, we go up to banking, select bank feeds, and then set up bank feed for an account. This is great because it's going to download the transactions directly from your bank account right into QuickBooks. It doesn't post them yet. But it downloads them, so it makes it quicker and easier for you for you to post them. It'll you know already pre-fill the date and the amount, um, so that you don't have to do that, and then you don't have to worry about errors. Cuts down on time, um, and then in, you'll see it. It also is good at learning transactions, so it can even suggest where the transactions are supposed to go in QuickBooks uh, even before you've done anything. The first thing it asks for is the name of the bank. In this case, we're looking for Wells Fargo, and you, it's going to look up bank names with the Wells Fargo name, so you choose which one is correct. Now, you can download uh, anything from checking accounts, saving accounts, credit card accounts, um, loan accounts. As long as it's going through your online banking, it's, chances are that QuickBooks can connect to it. So here's where you're going to put in your online banking information, your username and password. And you should only have to do this once. Once you've made this connection, you won't have to do this every time. It will remember. So put that in and choose connect. It may take a minute or so to connect the account. Uh, then it's going to connect to your account. Now, in this case, this particular online banking account has multiple checking visa accounts, savings accounts, things like that. So you can connect to as many of them as you want. If multiple of these accounts uh, should be connecting to your business then feel free to connect to any of them and all of them uh, but we're going to connect to this 3447 account now it's going to ask you which QuickBooks account should be connected to this so if you already have the bank account set up on your chart of accounts you can select it from this list if you have not already set it up then you need to select create a new account so we're going to create a new bank account in QuickBooks I'm just going to call it Wells Fargo. Save and close. Now it's connected to that account. If you want to connect to multiple accounts, you can do the same thing for each one of these different bank accounts. Hit connect. And it's already been connected. So now we hit close. Now we can go up here to the bank feed screen. And it's going to open this little window here. This window shows any and all accounts that you've connected to uh, through QuickBooks and the online banking. So it's just this one Wells Fargo account that we connected to. So we're going to we're gonna select that. It'll tell you here how many transactions you have that have downloaded but have yet to post. We haven't downloaded anything yet, so there's nothing there. So we're going to hit Download Transactions. It's going to ask for the password. Again, this is the online banking password. We're going to click that. Now it's going to go talk to the bank and hopefully download the transactions we need to. All right, so it downloaded 112 transactions. Typically, it's going to go back. I think it, it, banks, each bank can be a little different, but I think typically it'll go back about three months the first time you're connecting uh, and download history back three months. So we're going to hit close. Now it says there are 112 transactions. Up here on the left-hand side, you can see where it says it will tell you the last time you actually connected and downloaded transactions, so you know how you know what may be missing. Um, the online QuickBooks Online will automatically download the transactions for you periodically. Um, the desktop version does not, so you have to go in here and you have to click. Typically, you'll hit this account, this button right here, the little refresh button, and that's when it connects to the the bank and it knows the last time it downloaded the transaction, so it will download everything from that last time that it did. Alright, so 
this is what you've got here. Um, you'll notice you may see a difference between what the bank is saying your balance is and what QuickBooks is saying your balance is. That's, that's not uncommon, so don't worry about that. Um, that could be because any of the transactions that you've downloaded have not posted yet, um, or it could be that you've written checks or posted deposits in QuickBooks that have not cleared the bank yet, so that's not uncommon. So that's how you connect to your bank account. This is connected and ready to go. I'll show you how to post the transactions in a separate video. Um, if you liked it, please like this video. You should see a link on the top part of your screen that allows you to click it and subscribe to our page. That way you'll be the first one to, to get the newest videos every time I release them every month. Check us out on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all the social media sites. Check out our website, SteinerBusinessSolutions.com. See all the different services we offer including QuickBooks training, so you can get more in-depth one-on-one training if you wish. Uh, we can do it face-to-face -face depending on where you're at. We can always still do it remotely uh, if you're not nearby. Uh, appreciate your time. Have a great day.